This is Dr. Carroll. Today's video is an introduction to sorting algorithms. So sorting algorithms, well, they sort. That's it. Okay. They start with a potentially unsorted array and return an array whose contents are sorted. In this video series, I'll be, I will talk exclusively about algorithms that sort in ascending order, where the first element in the array is the smallest and the last one is the largest. To get started, let's talk about I the ideal sorting algorithm to introduce some terminology and concepts. So first off, an ideal algorithm is stable. That is, the equal keys aren't, are not reordered. Or in other words, a stable algorithm preserves the left to right uh, ordering of redundant numbers from an unsorted array. Now, let's see that again. So, what if we had this unsorted array here, five, one, two, three, four, five. Notice the five is uh, repeated, just so that we can see it and see um, what is going on here. Let's just annotate the first one is 5a and the last one is 5b. Now that actually makes them different so that the uh, a and b are just for um, keeping track of the order, okay? Because it, it would change the keys. And so a a stable sorting algorithm would make sure that 5a appears to the left or earlier than 5b because it appears to the left of 5b in the original. And then a potentially unstable one, um, it would it would be um, backwards. Okay, so that's what that's what's meant by stable in terms of a sorting algorithm. Another uh, characteristic of an ideal sorting algorithm is that it's not going to take a lot of extra space, meaning that it's going to take a trivial amount of extra space, the order of, of a constant amount of extra space above and beyond the uh, array. Also, the worst case, it's going to take an on the order of n log n key comparisons. This is the theoretical minimum required number of comparisons to sort. Similarly, the, it'll take a worst case order n number of swaps to, um, to sort the array. This again is the the theoretical minimum. Uh, additionally is that the algorithm will be adaptive and what that and that it, it, it'll speed up to an order n algorithm when the data is sorted or nearly sorted or, or when there are a few unique keys. okay so, those are the characteristics of an ideal sorting algorithm. There's no algorithm that, had all the, that has all these properties. If so, the chapter would be a lot shorter. And so the choice of a sorting algorithm really depends on the application. And that's it for this introductory video.